Welcome back to my channel, Metal Language, and we're going to discuss Gas Law, Boyle's Law. So, the formula na gagamitin natin dito ay P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So, meron lang tayong pressure at volume na nang iba. So, P1 will be original pressure, V1 naman will be the original volume, and P2 will be the resulting pressure, and lastly, V2 naman will be the resulting volume. So, original and resulting lang. Take note, pressure units. So, we have standard pressure. Ang isang ATM or 1 atmosphere ay 760 torr. 760 mmHg or millimeter of mercury. 101.3 kilopascal or kPa. At 14.7 psi or pounds per square inch. So, lahat sila standard pressure. At equal sila sa isa't isa. So, 1 ATM pa ding 760 torr. Ang 760 torr ay equal sa 760 mmHg and so on. So, let's start with the first example. To what pressure must a gas be compressed in order to get into a 3.00 cubic foot tank? The entire weight of a gas that occupies 400.0 cubic feet at the standard pressure. So let's have the given P1 is equal to 1.00 ATM. That's the standard pressure. So kaninang slide lang, pinakita ko ni mga pwede maging standard pressure. So 1 ATM. Pinili ko na lang 1 ATM kasi madali na mag-multiply sa 1 at mag-divide sa 1. Um, V1 natin or initial volume will be 400.0 cubic feet. Ngayon, um, P2, yun ang hinahanap natin, X. Kasi natin to what pressure. At uh, ang resultant volume daw ay 3.00 cubic feet. Now, well, let's have the formula. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Substitute mo lang yung mga values. So, we have 1, tapos mo multiply mo sa 400. At uh, equal mo siya sa x times 3. So, simplify mo yung sa kaliwa. That will be 400. Uh, at yung sa kanan naman, that will be x times 3. That will be 3x. So, divide both sides by 3 and you will get an answer of 133.3, repeating decimal. So, sir, paano yung magiging final answer? Ang um, final answer natin dito ay 133 ATM. Bakit? Kasi the least number of significant figure tayo. Ang least number of significant, least number of significant figure ay 3. Check natin, bakit? Ang 1.00, tatlo yung significant figure niya. Ang um, 400.0, tatlo din, sorry, apat. Apat ang significant figure at ang 3.00 ay tatlo ang significant figure. So going back, ang um, kanina 133.3, so kunin mo lang tatlo na importante. At dahil lang 3, so round down tayo. So 133, hindi siya 134. Okay, so that will be ATM. Next one, example number two. Convert 77.0 liters at 18.0 mmHg to its new volume at standard pressure. So standard pressure ulit. So let's have P1 is equal to 18.0 mmHg. Uh, at V1 natin, that will be 77.0 liters. At uh, the P2, that will be 760 mmHg. Bakit? So... Balikan nyo yung conversion units, MMHG kasi ginamit dito. So, MMHG na rin yung gamitin natin. Kung mag atm pa kasi tayo, magka-convert ka pa. At uh, ang video natin, that will be X. That will be the new volume. Hindi natin alam eh. nag yung formula, P1V1 is equal to P2V2. Next is, substitute mo yung mga values. So, we have 18 times 1 ng 77 is equal to 760 times 1 ng x. So, simplify mo siya 18 times 1 ng 77. That will be 1386. Uh, equal mo siya sa 760x. And divide both sides by 760. Para makuha yung value ng x. So, x will be like this one. 1.82368 and so on. So what will be the final answer? Um, final answer natin dito ay 1.8 liters. Kasi the least number of significant figure ay 2. Check natin. Tatlong significant figure nito. 
77.0, tatlo din. Tatlo din ang significant figure. Paano naman ang 760? Dalawa lang. Itong, ito lang ang significant figure. I will have a video about kung ilan yung, paano mo malalaman kung ilan significant figure nun sa given number. Ipopost ko na lang siya sa description box. Gagawin ko pa lang siya yung link. So, going back, ang final answer natin ay 1.8 liters. Kasi dalawa lang. Dalawa lang yung significant figures. At ang next number mo ay 2. So, round down siya. 1.8. Moving on, let's go to example number 3. A gas occupies 11.2 liters now at 0 0.860 ATM. What is the pressure if the volume becomes 50.0 liters? So you have P1 is equal to 0 0.860 ATM. Um, V1 net, and that will be 11.2 liters. Um, P2, that will be X. At V2, that will be 15.0 liters. Ngayon, nahanap natin yung P2, right? Ngayon, lagi mo yung formula kasi kompleto na tayo. And substitute the values. So, we have 0 0.86. Multiply mo siya sa 11.2. Uh, dito naman, x times 15. So, 0 0.86 times 1 ng 11.2, that will be 9.632. Uh, x times 15, that will be 15x. Divide both sides by, by 15. And you will get 0 0.64213. And repeating decimal shop. What will be the final answer? Final answer natin dito is 0 0.642. ETM. Bakit? The least number of significant figure natin dito ay 3. Check natin. This is 3. Uh, next one, 11.2. Hmm, tatlo din siya. At 15.0, tatlo din ang significant figures nila. So, balikin natin. 0.64213. Check mo lang to. Ito lang yung ilagay mo. Siyempre, ilagay mo din siya na 0 point. Kasi decimal siya, di ba? At uh, round down siya kasi 1 ang susunod na number. Example number 4. The air inside a flexible 2.5 liter container has a pressure of 110 kPa or kilopascal. Ano daw yung volume of the container being increased to in order to decrease the pressure to 620 torr? So, initial pressure mo ay 110 kPa, kilopascal. Uh, at ang initial volume, that will be 2.5 liters. Uh, at ang resulting pressure mo is 620 torr. Hinahanap dito yung resulting volume. That will be x. Mm -hmm. so, para mahanap yan. So, that completed na tayo. Let's place a formula. Oops, wait. Hindi pala natin nakita to. Um, 110 kPa ang initial pressure mo. Kaso, ang resulting pressure mo ay 620 torr. Tor to eto kilo pascal. So, kailangan may mag-adjust. Ang hinahanap natin dito kasi yung resulting volume. Remember, partner tong dalawa na to eh. Tong dalawa kasi 2, 2. So, si KPA yung mag a -adjust. So, check natin yung conversion units. So, 101.3 kilo pascal daw equals sa 760 tor. Nagagamit natin yung mamaya sa pag-convert ng units. So, 110 kPa, kailangan natin siyang palitan into TOR. Yung itong 110 kPa, multiply mo siya sa 760 TOR. Kasi equivalent to sa 101.3 kPa. Pag na-multiply mo ni 110 sa 760 TOR, i-divide mo na siya sa 101.3 kPa. Now, the final answer for that one, sa pag-convert lang ng units, is 825.3 TOR. Ngayon, lagi ko na siya dito sa given natin. So, hindi na natin gagamitin ito. Napakita ko lang. So, ito na. Well, kompleto na tayo. Lagi na natin yung formula. We have P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Substitute the values. We have 825.3. Multiply mo sa 2.5. At equal daw siya sa 620 times 1 ng x. Simplify mo yung sa left side ng equation. That will be 2063.25. So, dahil kompleto na tayo, lagi na natin yung formula. We have P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. At, meron tayong 825.3 dito. 
at mumultiply mo sa 2.5. I is equal daw siya sa 620, mumultiply mo siya sa x. Okay, simplify mo yung left side ng equation. And 825.3 times 2.5, that will be 2063.25. At equal mo daw siya sa 620x. Divide both sides by 620. 620 to. So, x will be 3.327822 and so on. Ano yung magiging final answer natin? Final answer natin will be 3.3 .3 liters. Bakit? The least number of significant figure is 2. Check natin. 825.3. Hindi natin gagamitin to. 825.3 ay, ay apat na significant figure. 2.5. Dalawa yung significant figure. 620. Ito lang, 6 to lang. Ah, so, dalawa lang yung significant figure. Yeah. Balikin natin. Dalawa lang kunin natin. At ang next number ay 2. So, mag-round down tayo. So, 3.3 .3 liters ang final answer. Example number 5. A helium balloon has a volume of 735 ml when it is at ground level. Now, the balloon is transported to an elevation of 5 kilometers where the pressure is only 0 0.81 atm or atmosphere. At this altitude, the gas occupies a volume of 1286 ml. Assuming the temperature has remained the same, what was the ground level level pressure? So, inaano po yung initial pressure? So, P1 is equal to X. At ang V1 naman natin will be 735 ml. Ang P2 or resulting pressure will be 0 0.81 atmosphere. At ang resulting volume will be 1,286 ml. Dahil kompleto na tayo, lagi mo na yung formula. So, P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So, X times 1 is 735 is equal to 0 0.81. Mumultiply mo sa 1286. Simplify both sides of the equation. So, 735 X dito sa kaliwa. At sa kanan, that will be 1,041.66. Minultiply ko lang yung... 0 0.81 at 1286. Divide both sides by 735. Like so. Etang x natin ay 1.41722 and so on. Ano yung magiging final answer natin? So magkasek ulit tayo ng significant figure. 735, tatlo yung significant figure niya. 0 0.81, ito lang. Dalawa. At 1286, apat. So, the least number of significant figure is 2. 1.4. Check natin. 1.4 nga. Ay, uh, dahil 1 siya, round down. 1.4. Okay, example. So, okay. Balik natin. Final answer is 1.4 ATM. Moving on. Example number 6. A balloon with a volume of 2.0 liters is filled with a gas at 3 atmospheres. Kung ang pressure daw ay naging... 0.5 atmospheres na lang without a change in temperature, what would be the volume of the balloon? Again, hindi natin kailangan na yung temperature. So, stay pa rin tayo sa Boyce's Law. Walang temperature dito. Initial pressure natin, P1 is equal to 3 atm. At ang V1 natin, that will be 2.0 liters. Ang P2 naman, that will be 0 0.5 atm. At ang V2, hindi natin alam. So, that will be X. So, dahil parehas naman yung mga units. At uh, kung okay naman siya, naging mo na yung formula. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Let's substitute the values. We have 3 here and 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 ang x. 3 times 2, that will be 6. And 0 0.5 times x, 0 0.5x. Divide both sides by 0 0.5. So x is equal to 12. So, what will be the final answer? 12 liters. Yes, simple as that. Last example tayo. The volume of a gas at 16.5 psi decreases from 1.5 liters to 750 ml now. What is the new pressure of the gas in ATM or atmosphere? So, initial pressure natin will be 16.5 psi. Uh, uh, initial volume will be 1.5 liters. P2 is equal to X, kasi hindi natin alam. Uh, V2 natin ay 750 ml. Remember, tingin natin dito, ah, what is the new pressure 
up the gas in ATM. Kaso ang binigay dito ay PSI. You can solve for the answer in PSI muna. Then, pag nauma na yung, um, yung answer dito in PSI, uh, PSI, then that's the time you will just convert it to ATM na lang. And also, meron tayong liters dito at ML. Kaso ang hinahanap natin ay nasa P2. Sa second one, I mean sa resulting. So, si leaders yung mag adjust So, palitan na natin to in 1,500 ml. Mm -hmm. Moving on, let's place the formula. E1, B1 is equal to P2, B2. Substitute the values. Remember, this is again 1,500 ml. So, 16.5 multiply mo ng 1,5 is equal to x times 750. Simplify both sides of the equation. We have 24,750. At sa kanan, that will be 750x. Divide both sides by 750. And x will be 33. Ngayon, we have 33 PSI here. At check mo dalawang significant figure. Ang pinaka least ay dalawa. Yes. 33 PSI, but we need to convert it to ATM. So, check natin conversion units. Ang 1 ATM daw uh, equals sa uh, 14.7 PSI. So, 33 PSI over 1 ng 1 times 1 ng 1 ATM. Divide po siya sa 14.7 PSI para mawala si PSI. So, 33 times 1 divide 1 ng 14.7 is equal to this one. In the yes, calculator at 2.2448979 and so on. And the final answer 2.2 ATM. Bye 2.2 ATM lang. The least number of significant figure is 2. Remember, 16.5 that's the yung significant figure niya. 1.5 liters or 1500 ml. They have both two significant figures. Ito lang kinitin naman dyan. Uh, 750 ml, dalawa lang din. Kaya 2.2. At for kasi to, kaya round down. And that's the end of the lesson on how to solve Boyle's Law. If you have any question, questions, comments, or suggestions, please comment down below. Kung may assignment kayo, nahihirapan kayo, just comment down below. I'll do my best to answer that one. And also, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And also, click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng Math and Language. Thank you and goodbye.